Heroes of the City. The Garbage Party. Na na na, na na na. Mm -hmm. Huh? There's oil on the road. I can't stop. Calamity Crow, look out! <laughs> Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Haha, <laughs> nah. Just a bump and a scratch. That sort of thing happens to me every day. I can't believe how messy this town has gotten. Paper, cans, and oil slicks. It can cause a lot of damage. Next time, someone might get really hurt. Sure, not everyone is as lucky as I am. Well, I'd better hurry along. See you, Tracy. Yeah, take care now. Hmm, something really must be done about all this garbage. Ah! Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Look at me! Wicked man! Ah, there's no one here to show off to. I should probably slide into town instead and see what's going on. Sorry I'm late. I skidded on some oil and nearly ran over Calamity Crow. Oh dear. How did it go? Well, all of Calamity Crow's feathers are still intact, and I merely got a scratch on my paint. It could have ended really badly, though. Yeah, just imagine. Luckily, you didn't end up in the garage. Absolutely perfect, Digsy. My compost is gonna be great. But, Troy, why would you want to bury your post? No, Digsy. My compost. It's a place where you put old food and garden waste. It'll slowly break down in my compost and transform into earth, which I can use. Oh, that's uh, very clever. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything we can do. I mean, in order to clean up this town. Maybe we should talk to the mayor. That's a brilliant idea. Do, do you think so? I'm not so sure. Yes, Digsy, it's great. After we finish digging the compost, we'll go and talk to the mayor. And maybe go by Benny the Baker's on the way. I'm really craving some vanilla donuts. <laughs> you and your snacks. What's this? I'm stuck! Oh, it's no use. I'm completely stuck. Hello? Help! Help! Since we don't have anything else to do, we might as well tidy up. Yes, you're right. It's pretty messy here, isn't it? Hey, you. I'm not the only one messy here. Last week, I saw an old water hose lying around on the ground. And whose was it? Well, it sure wasn't mine. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, Polly. But Alice Alarm is right. I think it's about time we clean this place up. Yeah, that's true. Let's try to get this place in order. Emergency services. Excuse me? Stuck? You need help to get unstuck? Okay. Over and out. Listen up. Lambert is stuck on the river. He needs your help to get free. Poor guy. Let's go and get Tommy. We could use him now. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Now it's... Action time! Drabby dobby dobby doo. Look! Another banana peel! Ha ha! But I'm not gonna slip on that one! Ha ha! Who's the lucky one? Ha! Ah! Garbage! There, Lambert. Now you're free again. Phew. Thanks for your help. It's downright dangerous with all this mess that's just, uh, making a mess. Hi. What's happened here? Lambert got stuck in garbage and couldn't pull himself free. Hmm. Garbage problems again? You should come with us to the mayor. Something has to be done before the trash causes more trouble. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Let's all go together. Oh, this looks like a really nice town. 
I'm sure I could be happy here. A compost? And I'm so hungry right now. Better hide. Oh, oh, the compost seems to be maturing fast. There's a rotten smell. <sighs> that was close. Man, all this garbage sounds like a big problem. We must do something about it. Uh, aha! It's so obvious. Dear friends and citizens, uh, we're going to have a garbage party. A garbage party? Yes. Together we'll make our city nice and clean again. Afterwards, we'll celebrate with a huge cake. That's a garbage party. Hooray for cake! <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> dear friends, I hereby declare this garbage party started. Hooray! some more garbage poolside. Hmm. Or is it starboard? No way the can should be there in the bush. It should obviously be in the trash can. That's right. There, that's all of them. Great work, my friends. Our city is once again nice and clean. And now, <clears throat> it's time for cake. But what do we do with all the garbage? We can't just leave it here. <clears throat> well, um, that's a very good question. Thieving bandits! Someone stolen my lovely compost! I had it just a minute ago and now it's gone! Right, now that seems strange. So the whole compost has disappeared? You bet. Every last piece! I don't understand what happened. I'm devastated. Come on, Troy. Let's search for clues together. I wonder what might have happened. It's a shame they had to leave in the middle of the party. Yes, it is. But we have our own little problem here. What are we going to do with all the garbage? This is where my compost used to be. Ha! I think we have a lead. Shh! Listen. Is in the other side of that barn. Hey, you, you lousy scoundrel, give me back my compost. Sorry. <laughs> my, I shouldn't have sounded so angry. I, I mean, there, there, stop crying. Oh, dear. I was so very hungry. I'm Gary. I have nowhere to live, and no one wants to be my friend, because I, well, smell so bad. No one wants a garbage truck for a friend. A garbage, garbage truck! <laughs> I love garbage. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. Aha! 
I just had the most fantastic idea. Come on, let's go. Ah, this is just perfect. Welcome to our city, Gary. Huh? Do I get to stay? Do you want me for a friend? Of course we do. Absolutely. <clears throat> Let's all cheer for our nice new city and for a new friendship. Hooray! 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 Did you enjoy your garbage party? It was so cool. Our city is nice and clean again. And I caught a compost thief who turned out to be a new friend. That sounds terrific. <sighs> Gee, what a day it's been. It's tiring going to garbage parties. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to a nice sleep. Mmm. You've done a fantastic job today. But you're not quite finished yet. There's one thing you've forgotten to do. Huh? What? You've forgotten to clean up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, good morning, dear neighbor. Good morning. Are you awake this early? Yes, I'm on my way to town to empty trash cans and tidy up. Ha, 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 that's the spirit. Well, I better get going. You gotta keep in shape, don't you? Have a great day. You too. I'm really gonna like it here. Oh, oops. Heroes of the City The Water Mystery Wake up, Robbie! We have lots to do! Huh? What? Oh, oopsie. Yeah, I'd say spilling oil on Tommy's car shampoo. You better wash them off before he comes to pick them up. Would you get the hose out, Robbie? Hello, guys. Oh, hi, Tommy. I'm here to pick up my car shampoo. Well, look, there it is. Yes, but Robbie was just going to wash them. We had a little accident earlier. Hey, Freddy, there's no pressure. We're out of water. What? We can't run out of water. There must be something wrong with the pipes. The old pipes probably need changing. Changing? Nah, that shouldn't be necessary. When something broke in Grandpa's day, he fixed it. He used what he could find. Tape, bandage, and band-aids. Oh yes, it's true. Grandpa fixed many pipes in this town. Really? Only a shame he didn't fix this pipe. Nah, don't worry. I'll wash them off over at the gas station when I get there. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's everything. <sighs> hey, Digsy, mm -hmm. would you like to have a picnic with me tonight? <laughs> you want to have a picnic with me? <clears throat> I, I'd love to. Great. Then I'll see you by the fountain at 7. All right. Uh, good. Then I'll have time to wash and get some fresh bread. Terrific. See ya. hop a dip a doo hop a dip a day The bread is almost finished. Ha la 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 la. Hey there, Benny. Bonjour, Calamity Crow. Have you got any baguettes ready? No, but they are nearly done. Oh, wonderful! Wow! Oh, what are you up to? Oh, sorry. I really didn't mean to. Let me get something to... No thanks. You've done quite enough. Oh, I hope I don't get a fat bumper now. All right, I'd better just sit here and wait. Oh, it's very wet. What's this? What's happening? Bro! Ah! Oh, that was some flight! But luckily I landed softly! 
Fiona, do you remember when we were little and we were going to learn how to flash your hazard lights, but instead you rolled your eyes around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about when you were learning to sound like a police car? <laughs> Emergency services. I see. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Over and out. Listen up. Benny the Baker's bakery is flooded. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. We'd better drive over there immediately. Polly, you took the words right out of my horn. Come on. Off you go. Now it's... Action time! Yeah! Yeah! My bread! Oh, my bread is getting ruined! I've been baking the whole day! And now, all the loaves are being turned into lumps of dough again! Oh, useless lumps of dough! There, there. Calm down, Benny. But, but... But where on earth is all the water coming from? We don't know, but that's what we're here to find out. Have you had any idea what might be the problem, Polly? Not really. Could it be the pipes? Yes, a water pipe must be broken. All the water comes out here instead of running through the pipes to all the right places. You're right, Fiona. We have to get to work immediately. We can't let the water keep squirting out like this. No, I'll go to the water reservoir and make sure they turn off the water while we fix the pipe. Good, and I'll find Digsy and ask him to dig up the broken water pipe and fix the leak. I'll see you back here in a bit. There you go. Nice and shiny. Thanks a lot. Now I'm clean and fresh for the picnic tonight. Digsy is in here. I wonder where he is. I'll head down to the harbor and have a look there. Hello there. How are you today? I'm all right. It's a steady flow, as they say. How about you? I saw your flashing lights were on. Are you on an action mission? Yes, I'm out looking for Digsy. You haven't happened to have seen him, have you? I sure have. He went past here a while ago and continued towards the gas station. Aha! The gas station! Great, thank you! No problem! Take it easy! These old pipes usually work. There's something weird Hello there! Going on. How's it going? Not too great. The water suddenly got turned off and I'm covered in car shampoo. There's something weird going on. These old pipes usually work without any problems. It must be because of the broken water pipe at the bakery. I see. I knew it couldn't be anything to do with my pipes. And like Grandpa used to say, don't fix anything that ain't broken. Have you seen Digsy? Yes, believe it or not. He was actually here, and I polished his tracks just a short while ago. He was? How romantic. How interesting. Do you know where he was headed? No, but he went that way. And I have a feeling he mentioned the flower shop, but I could be wrong. Tracy, if you're not too busy right now, maybe you could go over to the industrial area and pick up a brand new water pipe. We'll meet it over at the bakery later to fix the leak. Sure, I can't stand here covered in lather. Great, then I'll continue looking for Dixie. See you at the bakery in a little while. All right, bye-bye. Hey, you. There you are! I've been searching everywhere! <laughs> oh, oh my, I seem to be very popular all of a sudden. Yes, we need a helping scoop. A broken water pipe needs digging up and fixing outside Benny's Bakery. Half the town is without water, and the bakery is completely flooded. It's really serious. Or perhaps your scoop is busy. Uh, no, no. What are you carrying there? Ah, uh, hey, nothing in particular, but hey, that sounds really serious. We better get over there. Yes, absolutely. Hi and welcome. Ah, Polly, I'm so glad you found him. Yeah, it took a little while. 
Isn't it best if we get started straight away? Sure, I'll take care of this. Hi, Freddy. Why, hello there, Tracy. Nice to get a visit from you. Yes, but I don't have any time to stay. We have an emergency with a water leak. Do you have any new water pipes? Water pipes? Sure, come, they're over there. Here they are. Great. Will you help me load one onto my truck bed? Of course I will. Just back up. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder where the water went. I'll have to climb up to see if there's a blockage. Here I come with a new pipe. There we go. Here's the broken pipe. Oh my word. There, we have the little rascal. Great, Tracy. You brought a new pipe. I'll grab it straight away. Sure, go ahead. Let's see now if this will do the job. Great! I'll go back to the water reservoir and ask them to turn the water back on. I can't see any water, but I must say, the view is fantastic! <laughs> the water is back! The fountain is on again! Whoa! Look out! Watch the hole! You're not a very lucky crow, are you? No, but I have so many other things to be happy about. Do you think you can help me out? Okay, coming right up. Thanks, everyone. You're such heroes. Without your help, I would have had to open a swimming pool instead of a bakery. But I'm not sure I would have liked being called Benny the Swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Here comes Fiona. Are you ready to go? Yep, I reckon our job here is done. Yeah, I'll do the rest. No worry. Okay, thanks, Digsy. Good work. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Huh? What? Oh my goodness. I get back to work, Freddy. Cut it out. <laughs> I see. You want to work now when I've finished everything. <laughs> it's not me spraying you. You must have forgotten to turn off the tap. Now the water's back on. <laughs> Wait, let me switch it off. I think you did excellent flashing today. Just like a fire engine should do. Thanks. And Polly, for your information, your siren is unmistakable. It sounds just like a real police car should. Hi, how did it go? It went fine in the end. A water pipe in the ground outside Benny's Bakery had burst and, well, it flooded the bakery. Oh dear. Yes, the whole entire bakery was completely flooded with water. If Dixie hadn't been able to help, we would never have made it. I'm not sure. But I did get the feeling he was up to some secrecy. You think? Yeah, but the main thing is that the water is back and that Benny the Baker's bakery is no longer flooded. Right? Yes. I knew I could count on you guys. You're not just my heroes. You're heroes of the city. Here. I didn't have time to wash, but I did get a hold of some freshly baked bread. Mmm, thanks. Oh, and I had new polished tracks and everything. Uh, don't worry about it. You look nice as you are. Oh, um, you too. <laughs> Heroes of the City The Secret Box Good morning, Mayor. There's a box for you at the harbor, but it was too big for me to bring. A box? Well, that must be my surprise box for the day of the car. How exciting. Thank you, Percy Post. Don't mention it. Now I have to move on. Goodbye, Mayor. Goodbye. Good morning, Calamity Crow. I've got something for you. Here you go. My new butterfly net. Ha <laughs> ha! Superb! I'll have to practice quickly, so I'll be able to catch this butterfly. It's the world's fastest butterfly. 
Haha! <laughs> yes, that's looking good. Good luck, Crow. Thanks, Percy Post. Huh? The butterfly? My butterfly! Soon you'll be mine! Ah, I can't believe my parcel has finally arrived. I hope Freddy will be able to move it before anyone notices it. Here I am, working really hard while you're just lazing around. Lazying around? I'm making sure you're not missing anything. Look, there's another good-for-nothing barrel. All right, thanks, I suppose. Well, someone has to make sure the job gets done properly. Oh, hello, Mayor. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. Freddy, would you be able to move a parcel down at the harbor? Uh, a uh, secret parcel? A secret parcel? <clears throat> yes, very secret. Hush, hush, not a word. I'll be happy to help. Come on, let's go. A secret parcel, huh? I wonder what that's all about. Soon you're mine. Aha! Ugh. Yuck! That's icky! Thanks, Elmo. A cooling shower was just what I needed. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. The celebrations for the day of the car isn't until tonight. We have to find something to do until then. Yeah, but what can we do? Maybe we could play something. Yes, hide and seek. I'll count while you guys hide. Ah, uh, hide and seek? Don't you think that's for kids? You're just afraid someone will discover how bad you are at hiding. Bad? Me? Oh, no, I'm not. I'll show you. Good. Then I'll count to a hundred. Hide! One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there it is. What an exciting box! I was hoping you'd be able to store the box in the industrial area so that no one sees it. Sure thing, Mayor! Yeah, uh, take it easy. Freddy, nice and easy. Oh, sorry. There, now I'll take it over to the industrial area. Thanks, Freddy. Well, now I'd better return to the city hall for another important mayoral job. Toodaloo. Goodbye. 98, 99, 100, 100. Here I come. Hmm. Yuck. But Gary! Uh, what? <laughs> Harry, you can come out of the bush now. <laughs> How did you manage to find me? Oh, it wasn't particularly hard. Now you have to count, Harry, and I'll show you how good I am at hiding. I'm a pro at this. Do, do you want me to count? Yeah, and next time is my turn. All right, then. I'll start. You better hide. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, eight, six, two, four, uh, eleven, uh, twelve, thirty-two, fifty-eight, fourteen, a hundred. Here I come. Wow, the secret parcel. Yep, no one must know that it's there. The mayor's order. What do you think is in the box? Oh, I don't know. Something incredibly top secret, apparently. I'll take this over to Tommy's. He likes old scrap, just to make sure no one comes sneaking around here. Hmm, maybe I could have just a little peek. It won't do any harm if I open it up a little and sneak a peek. Hello, Robbie. Oh, it's just you, Troy. Yep, I need some help with my broken plow. Do you think you can fix it? Sure, I just need to weld the strut here, and then it's done. Great, then I'll be back later. Thanks, and bye for now. Hmm, where can I hide? Oh, I just have to find a really good place so the others won't be able to find me, ever. There, this is perfect. Na, na, na. I'm really excited about the day of the car. Yes, I understand the mayor has something special planned for everybody. Really? I wonder what that might be. I don't know, but the mayor is good at throwing parties, so I'm sure it's something nice. 
Emergency services. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Yes. Over and out. Listen up. Wheelie has become buried underneath a pile of soil at the building site. Gosh, how horrible. Yes, we'd better leave straight away. Now it's... Action time! The butterfly flew in here. Where can it be? Aha! There you are. Oh, what is this? You silly bird. You've ruined my lovely butterfly cake. Oh, I'm sorry, Benny. I thought it was my butterfly. Your butterfly? This was my exquisitely perfect day of the car cake with beautiful marzipan butterflies. And now you have ruined it. I'm so sorry. I'll help you bake a new cake as soon as I've caught this butterfly. This time, you won't get away. Hmm, that darn crazy bird. Well, I guess I'll have to bake a new one. Hello there. What's going on here then? It's just Wheelie who's playing hide and seek like a pro. Oh, just be quiet, Harry. Gosh, how did you end up there? Ah, I'd hidden so well that Tracy couldn't spot me when she came to offload some more soil onto the pile. <laughs> And then you scream like a broken fan belt. Yes, you were really easy to find. Come on. Let me see if I can wash the dirt off you, Wheelie. Ah, there. Oh, thanks. At last. Just think about where you play in the future. A building site is not a good place. Absolutely. Sure thing. Oh, yes, I promise. Good. Now we have to get back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! All right. Now Troy's plow is whole again. I wonder... No. I just have to find out what's inside that box. Oh. I can't see what it is. I'll turn on the welding torch. Wow! It's fireworks! Oh, oh, I accidentally lit a couple of fuses. Oh no, I've really made a mess of this. That's a lot for the scrap, Freddy. You can never have enough stuff, as Grandpa used to say. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just pleased someone can use it. Ah! It got away! Hello there, Calamity Crow. Are you hunting for butterflies? Hiya! Yeah, but I don't have much luck today. <laughs> well, luck isn't really your strong suit, is it? You don't think so? What in the world? Has the party started already? Ah! My bottom! Ah! Hot! 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 Ah. At least this time, I was really lucky. Do you call that lucky? Sure. Isn't it lucky that there was a bucket with water right here? Only I am that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's a fire. Help, my gas station. Hi, what's going on? Oh, we have no idea. Emergency services. Oh, that sounds serious. We'll be right there. Over and out. There's a fire at the gas station. Apparently a rocket has exploded on the roof. Why? That's bad news. Yes, there's no time to lose. Now it's... Action time! Fireworks? What if they're mine? I better go down to the industrial site to have a look. Get back! This fire has to be put out, and fast! Phew! There! Oh, thank you so much for saving my wonderful gas station! Yeah, that could have ended really badly. Who's setting off uncontrolled rockets like this? No clue, but it did look as if it came from the industrial site. But Robbie's there, so... Robbie on his own? I think it's best if we went over there to have a look. 
Hello there. What's going on? It was Robbie who happened to set off all my fireworks for the day of the car celebrations. I see. So it was you, Robbie. You should always be careful with rockets. You almost burnt down the gas station. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to have a little look in the box. I didn't know. I was just curious. That's okay, Robbie. It all ended well after all. But think before you get too nosy next time. Yes, I won't be doing that again. Well, what do you say? While so many of us are gathered and the fireworks have been set off, what do you say to getting the day of the car party started? Yes, I think that sounds like a great idea. Welcome to Day of the Car, everyone. I hope you got a chance to see some of the fireworks earlier on. I wish you all a truly joyous evening. All right, you got me in the end. <laughs> <laughs>
But now I guess we'll have to get back in case there are any real emergencies. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. How could I get it so wrong? It really looked like a fire. Time to cool yourself down with the best ice cream in town. What was that? Look at all that smoke. Yeah, it smells like something's burning. It seems like the fire is on wheels. Maybe a car is burning. I think you might be right. Hop on and call the emergency services. <laughs> now hold on. <laughs> emergency services! There's a fire! Uh, on the way to the park! How are you, Harry? I'm fine. I, I just have to stop and... Uh, uh, Cool down a bit. You go ahead. All right. Okay. See you later. I'm glad you're here. I just got another call about a fire by or on the way to the park. Oh, great. Right. Don't just stand there. Go off and see what is going on. I have freshly baked buns! Freshly baked buns! Hey, Benny. Have you burnt your buns again? Oh, how insulting. I have never, ever burnt a single bun. <gasps> oh, no! I have buns in the oven. How could I forget? Well, this time it seems your fire was just a few freshly baked buns. <laughs> <laughs> No way! I'm sure I saw smoke! Lots of it! Not just from a few buns! Okay, but I can't see any other smoke, and more importantly, no fire. What do you say, Polly? Do you want to investigate? Ugh, I'm sure it's nothing. You have to pull yourself together, Crow. You shouldn't call us unless there's really an emergency. I also thought that I saw something, but I guess we both just got it wrong, Polly Police Car. No, I think... Like I said, only call us when there's really an emergency. Oh, well. Detective Calamity Crow will have to do his own investigation to find out by himself where all the smoke was coming from. Yeah, that was pretty strange. I was sure I saw smoke, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah! What on earth was that? Harry Hot Rod? What are you doing here? Is your cooler giving you problems? Well, everything's broken now. I'm completely spent. I can't even start anymore. Yep, that sounds worse than my old grandpa's rusty pipes. Come along to the garage and I'll fix it up for you. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I mean, it's a little, I'm sort of, well, you know, it's a little... Scared of garages? It's not the least bit scary. Just look at me. I have to go to the doctor several times a week. If anyone should know what it feels like to get fixed, I should. Yeah, you're right. How scary can it be? You don't have much of a choice. You know, you can either stand there and turn to rust, or you can let Tommy the car doctor fix you up. Oh no, Willie is coming. Hurry up, I don't want her to see me like this. Good luck! It's time to cool down. Who is the best ice cream in town? Ah! Fire! The ice cream stall is on fire! Huh? It is? Yes, it really is! There really is a fire! I'll call for help! Hurry! Oh dear, oh dear! All my ice cream will melt! <laughs> The ice cream stall is on fire! Come quickly! The ice cream stall is on fire! Listen up. Calamity Crow called. He says the ice cream stall is on fire. <laughs> I'm sure there's no hurry. It's probably just someone doing some spring cleaning or maybe baking some buns. An alarm is still an alarm, and it always has to be taken seriously. Exactly. You should listen to Fiona. Hurry up, it's urgent! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's action time! Ow! Ow! Ah! Ow! Owie! Hot! Hot! Ow! Hot! Hot! Ow! Ah! Hot! Hot! Okay, stand back! Wow! No way! Hooray! 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 Hooray!
my ice cream. Oh, warm ice cream. How am I going to sell warm ice cream? You might not have to, Iris. Come here, open up your freezer compartment. It's not too late. Calamity Crow? Yeah? What did Fiona say about not having a magnifying glass out in the sun? I don't know. I never really understood that. But I think she said it could start a fire. Uh, oops. Hmm. Exactly. Calamity Crow's detective services will never leave a magnifying glass out in the sun again. I can promise you that. Detective services? Thank you. What a hero. I thought all my ice cream would turn into soup. You are welcome. But we can't start work on the stall until tomorrow. I'm going to help. Me too. And, and us. Free ice cream for everyone. Hooray! 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 Hey, how did it go? Was it a real fire this time? Yeah, it actually was this time. I feel so awful not taking it seriously. Don't. You can't always be on top of everything. We complement each other well. The important thing is that the fire is out. But what caused the fire in the first place? It was Calamity Crow himself who started the fire by being a little careless and leaving a magnifying glass out in the sun. Hmm. You have to be really careful with magnifying glasses. You can't just leave them out in the sun. No, but I think he's probably learned his lesson. Yeah. He promised me he would never use it out in the sun again. But I thought he said something about detective services. Ugh, I hope he won't interfere too much with my work. He only wants to help. And even if he did start the fire, he also did the right thing by calling us and making sure we got over there to help. My heroes. The city's heroes. Hi, Harry. Did Tommy fix you up? Yeah, it wasn't so bad after all. There, I mean, it was a piece of cake. Wow! Have you been to the garage to get fixed? Yep. Well, how was it? Going to the garage is nothing for a tough guy like me. Thanks for convincing me to go into the garage. I mean, you really, really helped me out there. Sure! Your helping wing. That's the motto of Calamity Crow's Detective Services. 